welcome to your channel please like share and subscribe your own channel school studies you will get daily one video related to different subjects such as english mathematics social science science and general knowledge today we will see topic related to mathematics subject in that today's topic is ncert solution of chapter 5 understanding elementary shapes let's do exercise 5.1 now question 1 says what is the disadvantage in comparing line segment by meter observation by mere observation we cannot compare the line segment with slight difference in their length we cannot say which line segment is of greater length hence the chances of errors due to improper viewing are more the second question is why is it better to use a di divider than a ruler while measuring the length of a line segment so the answer is while using a ruler chances of error occur due to thickness of the ruler and angular viewing hence using divider accurate measurement is possible the next question the third question says that draw any line segment says line segment ab take any point c lying in between a and b measure the lengths of ab bc and ac is ab equal to ac plus cb so let's find it out since given that point c lies in the in between a and b hence all the point points are lying on the same line segment line segment ab therefore for any situation in which point c is lying in between a and b we may say that ab equals to ac plus cb for example ab is a line segment of a length 7 cm and c is a point between a and b such that ac equals to 3 cm and cb equals to 4 cm hence AC plus CB equals to seven centimeter, since AB equals to seven centimeter. Therefore, AB equals to AC plus CB is verified. The question four says that if ABC are three points on a line such that AB equals to five centimeter, BC equals to three centimeter, and AC equals to eight centimeter. which one of them lies between the other two so given ab is 5 cm bc is 3 and ac is 8 cm now it is clear that ac equals to ab plus bc hence point b lies between a and c let's see the next question fifth one verify whether d is the midpoint of line segment ag so this is the line segment from 0 to 7 points are given a b c d e f g since it is clear from the figure that ad ad equals to dg that is 3 units hence d is the midpoint of ag line segment a C here A B C, then E F G. These are the three units, and these are the three units. The middle unit is four. That is D. So D is the midpoint of line segment A G. Next is sixth one. If B is the midpoint of line segment A C and C is the midpoint of line segment B D, where A B and A B C D lies on the straight line. Says Y, A B equals to C D. 
so there is a line segment a b c d lies on the straight line so given is b is the midpoint of ac hence ab equals to bc that is the first result c is the midpoint of bd hence bc equals to cd that is the second point from first and second result we can say that ab equals to cd is verified here ab bc bc if we cut then ab and cd remains so ab equals to cd is verified now let's see the next question question 7 draw five triangles and measure the sides check in in each cases if the sum of the length of any two sides is always less than the third side so let's see the first case that is in triangle abc so we have taken triangle ab equals to 2.5 cm bc 4.8 cm and ac equals to 5.2 cm now ab plus bc equals to so 2.5 cm plus 4.8 cm if we add this we get 7.3 cm as 7.3 is more than 5.2 therefore ab plus bc is more than ac hence the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side this is the first case we have taken now the second case we have taken triangle pqr pq 2 cm qr 2.5 cm and pr 3.5 cm pq plus qr equals to 2 cm plus 2.5 cm so we add this two so we will get 4.5 cm as 4.5 is more than 3.5 therefore pq plus qr is more than pr hence the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side this is the second case Now we have taken the third case that is in triangle X Y Z. So in triangle X Y Z, X Y is five centimeter, Y Z is three centimeter, and Z X is six point eight centimeter. X Y plus Y Z equals to five centimeter plus three centimeter. That is eight centimeter. As eight is more than six point eight, therefore X Y plus Y Z is more than Z X. hence the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so this was a third case now let's see the fourth case in fourth case we have taken triangle mns so mn equals to 2.7 cm ns equals to 4 cm ms equals to 4.7 cm So M N plus N S equals to two point seven centimeter plus four centimeter. So if we add this, we will get six point seven centimeter. As six point seven is more than four point seven, therefore M N plus N S is more than M S. Hence, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. So this was the fourth case we have taken. Now the last, that is fifth case. in triangle klm we have taken kl equals to 3.75 cm lm equals to 3.5 cm and km equals to 3.5 cm so kl plus lm 3.5 plus 3.5 we will get 7 as 7 cm is more than 3.5 cm therefore kl plus lm is more than km hence the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so these are the five cases which we have taken so this was exercise 5.1 of chapter 5 understanding elementary shapes of standard 6 ncert solution i hope you liked my video thanks for watching my video thank you for any doubt question you can comment us in the comment section or you can drop a mail to us you will find my email id at the end of this video you can also follow us on facebook page twitter us on in instagram or twitter or follow us on linkedin thanks for watching my video thank you